over here. Like that. Look. Up there. <laughs> I'll put it there. All right. All right. Okay. All right, um, swalk. Martina! Martina! Do you reckon she got the card? She better have. It's gonna go ballistic. It's only a bit of crack. Don't forget to ask Dad. Why me? You're the oldest. You better not be using my lippy in there. All yours. Dad? The answer is no. You don't even know what she's going to ask. We're not getting the phone. Why not? That's why. Wait a minute. What's this? I wonder who it's for. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's mine? Oh, uh, it's in the next post. I wonder who that's from. David's parents have a phone. That's what I'm afraid of. I can just see the pair of you yakking away for hours. Oh, lovey dovey. Everyone has one these days. What's this? A full on assault? What if we were to pay for it, Dad? I'll think about it, okay? That means no, then. I said I'd think about it. Thanks, love. Make sure that young fella doesn't spend all day in the ladder. Huh? Just not to crowd him. So, are you going to lend us me or aren't you? No. Give her a lend of your top. Why should I? She's your sister, that's why. I gave you a lend of me lippy. No, you didn't. Sisters are supposed to share. I'll think about it. Hey, Hi, David. Young love. Yeah. Have you seen Robert? Walk with a Mary. And? Everything's fine, okay? Early fella. Jealous, Jimmy? No, I'll have to move on. Even Robert, from what I hear. Did you not know? Yeah. Yeah, of course did. Anything for me? Unless you want to pay the lecky. Face like a smacked arse on her. She wants me to babysit with her tonight. Tonight? It's Friday, Jimmy. Suits in the freezer and everything. That's why the face. Jimmy, blame. Stop yapping like a pair of ones and get the cabinets filled up. Oh, and by the way, I'll be letting you know this evening which one you're keeping on. What? I thought we had till the end of the month. Yeah, well, you see what thought did. Be back in a minute. Yeah, joy or shy. It's me foot. Might be me. You're looking well today, Mrs. Duffy, so what can I get you? Would you like a bit of white pudding? Or would you prefer the black lad? Maybe a bit of both? If you don't have the measurements, we can't give you a price. Hiya, Robert. Give us a look. What, you think I'm going to tear it up or something? You should have told me. Yeah, I know. What's her name? All it. Didn't take him long. No. Model for us, what was that card? Still pointing, are you? Fuck off, cards. Must get myself one. Take more than a card with you. You need to buy the whole shop. 
Don't know about that. I'm not interested, Carlos. Your sister is well. Came this morning. Says he's going to reveal himself tonight. That's nice. I'm sure it's him. Who? Your man. From the vegetable department in Super Quinn. Even cut off a lock of his hair, look. Don't build your hopes up. Put deposit on them shoes and all. For your man? No. He's gonna buy them in any way. Your man's gonna go ballistic. Well, you're only young months. Sister Mary. I told you that in confidence. Yeah, we're not gonna pull much if you're dressed in a habit. I'm only thinking about it. That's why you're meeting carrots, is it? Put you off men for the rest of your life. I couldn't say no. Well, you better learn quick. They don't call him the octopus for nothing. See you later. I'll see you later. But if I'm the first to rise above, please give him a message, a sign of love, written in marker, pen, sorry, sealed with a kiss. His name is David, the guy that I miss. <laughs> Morbid, isn't it? It's better than roses are red. <laughs> Violets are blue. Drop your cacks and give us a goo. I bumped into Martina this morning. Glad you two were talking again. Yeah, he's afraid he put up a better dump of them. It was mutual. Rebound, Johnny. Here, on the house. Well, get yourself into trouble. Good girl, I'll show you. I'll fix up with you one day. Oh, Mrs. Keegan in the book, Carol. That's a pound of stew and beef. I saw that. Well, goodwill, Mr. Kelly. Albert, thought you'd be at home pouring yourself into your soup for tonight. No, JB neither. He's gone for a job interview with your man Butterly. To work in the Stardust? A star man out in Wonder Ware, he'll the back. Here's a pound of sausages. Keys for Errol, Eddie. What? Probably needs a bit of extra padding for the final tonight. I've had a breakfast in the morning. After sticking them down as jocks all night? Ah, that's disgusting. <sighs> we'll still eat them, though. You fucking right. Yeah. You stick them in the book for us, Kevin? Oh. Hey, Albert. Say hello to Errol for us, will you? <laughs> Mr. Burley. Oh, that's me, yeah? Jimmy Buckley. I'm here for the store man's job. Oh, that's right, yeah. So, I'll talk to you then. Well, what do you think of the place? Yeah. Looks great. Used to be a jam factory. Yeah, I remember. You could smell the fruit for miles. You live around here? Bonnybrook. You ought to work long? Six months. Place closed down. We just had a new baby. Hard times we're living in. Still, Charlie's the man to get us out of it, what? Hope so. Job's yours. Thank you, Mr. Portley. Thank you. No problem. You come in Monday and I'll uh, show you the ropes. I'll see you Monday. Thanks. See you later. See you later. Hey, David. How are you, girls? How are you? Yeah. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. It's gorgeous. Thanks. What's up? I have to work a late shift. Double time. I'm supposed to be going to the stairs. So I'll say no. Shifting going on tonight will be something else. There's no championships. It's going to be wall to wall. To be begging for. It'll be delivered first thing tomorrow morning. You're a great girl. Thank you very much, Mary. Thanks very much. Thought they'd never leave. Let's go. Off the Come on, the shop will be shut and I need them shoes for tonight.
Tell her I'll meet on site. Tired arse. See you tonight then. Oh, actually, I'm not going. Huh? Yeah, Ma's gone out. She needs someone to babysit. Well, once it's not because of me and Paula. <laughs> Don't flat yourself. Why'd you do that? What? Stick it in the freezer. Cut your finger off that crease, you would. If you don't look slick, you're just a geek. Where is he? Five past, what you see? No, Colonel. Jimmy. Looks like the wedding's off. Lads. I'm sorry, Liam. Don't think Butcher and Joe Forty. Fair enough. You're not a bollocks to work for anyway. Open cords, really? Job interview. Oh, yeah, how'd it go? Didn't. Once they see the north side near your address, that's it, man. Tell me about it. Should I miss me scratching and all over? Roll on tonight. I got a crisps and a pint of my wedding, please. Shit. What? Get in. Easy wages, Mum. Thanks, love. What's that about? The usual. You're giving me too much, love. Overtime from last week. Overtime, sure. You okay? Not gone. What? Start is not gone. What happened? Nothing. Something must have happened if you're not going tonight. You're not going? Robert's got a new girlfriend. Who's Robert? The ex. But you only went out with him for a week. Thought you weren't mad about him anyway. I'm not. So what's your problem? He's bringing her tonight. But you don't fancy him. That's not the point. Am I missing something here? You have to go. Why? Because I'm not facing Mary Kay on my own when she finds out about that card. What card? Nothing. Look, there's plenty more fish. Don't, ma'am. She's right, though. What, like carrots, you mean? Who's carrots? <laughs> All right, Dad. Oh, yeah. Any chance of feeding the owl, Philip? Well, hold your horses. Give me five minutes, all right? Where's my suit? Hanging on your door. Thanks for the grub, Mrs. Fitz. Sorry about your job, Liam. Well, Ma's gonna go wipe. You worry about it in the morning. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. Welcome. What do you think? What? Me moustache. Where? On me hole. Where do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I could see something going on. Cool, what? Must be a bit of bone fluff to me. You sure you're all right about me getting the job? Yeah. I always hate the smell of meat anyway. Thank like, fuck it's Friday. Carrots? God, Mary. He asked me, what was I supposed to say? No. no. I'm sure he's not that bad, love. He is, Matt. Tell her, Antonin. He asked me up to dance and his tongue was halfway down my neck before he knew it. Followed by his chewing gum. That is disgusting. That's carrots. Hope you like juicy fruit. Oh. oh. Lorraine, give us a hand, Mary. Where'd you get that? David. That is gorgeous, love. Thanks. Now. Yeah. 